Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time y'all listening on DSPs or watching on YouTube, man. It's Marquis, aka Severe, aka Severe the Yours, man. And we ain't going too far. We're only going to Lynn Mass, man, to go visit an extraordinary producer, Jamal Johnson. The album called The Rebirth came out November 10th, 2023, about 25 minutes of pure soulful, great music with great lyricists. He selected some great rappers. Man, like the super friends on here. All right, so let's talk about it. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Comment below. Let me know what you think about Jamal Johnson. What's his best project? What's his best single? And let me know what you think about this album right here. All right, number one, The Cosign featuring Sean Lib. Shout out to Sean Lib for starting off the project strong. Jamal's intros, samples, drum patterns bring together soulful music and emotional wealth. Sean Lib matches that track with lyrical content. Number two, 14 Bricks featuring Primo the Great. Jamal's transitions are clean and clear. Shout out to the mixing and the mastering of this album. The movie clips and rap blend with Primo the Great are just as dope as the instrumental. Fire instrumental. Fire Lyricism. Number three, the title track. The title track is Burning Fire, man. The Rebirth featuring Akil Ali and YNX716. Once you hear Jamal's signature Joker laugh, you be like, yo, it's about to be some heat. It's about to be some heat. Sometimes, he, most of the time, he uses it in the beginning. But my surprise, you use it in the middle at the end of the record. But... Usually in the beginning, you go, oh, that's a Jamal Johnson beat. A lot of producers have signature, trademark, you know, sounds or clips. And he has the Joker's laugh. So shout out to the Joker and Batman and all that, man. All right, so the Rebirth. Uh, you know, uh, Akil Ali and YNX 716. They've been working together recently in the past. And they actually have an album together. So y'all go check out that album. And uh, they've been on stage together. They've been performing together. Great brothers, great kings, putting out quality music. Now, Akil Ali is uh, a favorite wordsmith of mine. Just a really great rapper that I admire. His 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 work, his wordplay, his substance, his optimistic vibes. And guess what? YNX Seven One Six matches those vibes, and they do great work together. Uh, this rapper is also dope, uh, 716. Ryan X 716 is also dope, also fire, and I'm a fan as well. Like this record. I like this record. Uh, number four is kind of like an interlude with Tyler, the creator, with Jamal Johnson. Put some sounds behind it. It's called Oversaturated. And I believe he's talking about oversaturation of music. Of course there is. We know there are. There's oversaturation of everything nowadays, you know. Um, but there are different perspectives on music based on the oversaturation of music, period. And what Tyler was saying was, man, people go outside, but their outside might be limited. You know, no one can hear every rapper. No one can hear every artist. So you, everyone does have a bubble. And it's not on purpose. You just can't hear everything. So let me put it this way. Jamal Johnson, you're in my circle, you, you know, so I, I hear you. I hear your music. I hear what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, King. Number five, I believe this was a single, and then he re-released it on this album with two additional uh, MCs. MF Doom Mass featuring Details, Ja King, The Divine, and Shay Noor, and Black Smith. I believe the first single, correct me if I'm wrong, was... Shay Noah starting it off, and then Ja King the Divine. Let me know. But, for some reason, I like the additional rappers Jamal put on this song. Details in Blacksmith version is, of course, a little longer. It's about four minutes plus. But it actually sounds more complete, if that makes sense. Let me know if that makes sense. But I like it. I like it better. I like the longer version. Uh, you know, Jamal Johnson's production reflects on his feelings and his moods. And, you know, you can hear that 
with the samples and things that he uses. You got to think about it. Producers, they speak with their hands. They use samples. They use clips. They use audio of, of, of movies and they speak them with their hands. Jamal Johnson's production gives that, uh, you know, out a heart wrenching, soulful, you know, collaboration, you know. Let's go to number six. No Chaser featuring um, Joseph the Gift and Patty Honcho. Another standout soul joint that the masses and rap will appreciate. Joseph the Gift has more than a gift of rap. He has substance. Feature Patty put up like 40 points. Swish. Stop playing. He's dropping buckets, man. He's a rapper with a smooth flow. I like uh, Patty Ancho. Been a fan for quite some time. An entertaining rapper. Like, he keeps your attention. So, I like that about Patty Ancho. Number seven. Small Town Mentality. Featuring uh, Day and Dre or Andre Day, Day Andre Day, Day Andre Day. I always mess up his day. You gotta kill me. And uh, Paradox King, beat got a little bit of up tempo, adding movement to my neck. Got my neck snapping back and forth. Rapper Day continues to make his fans proud. Day's a dope rapper. Shout out to Day. Go check out Day. Andrew Day. It's Andrew Day. I think Andrew D. Andrew Day. That's a hard pronunciation. Anyway, Paradox King lifting weights and dropping bars. He's lifting weights and then he's dropping the bars, man. Stop playing, man. Number eight, perfect timing featuring Cam Ferris. Day, Andrew Day. And Rhythm is it Maddox? Rhythm Maddox. Shout out to Rhythm Maddox. And shout out to all these names. Lord have mercy. All right, this soulful track gives me goosebumps. I like this track. I'm a fan of, uh, you know, rappers. The rappers Cam and Day, both of them. I've uh, been following their careers for a little bit. Uh, they continue to show love to the art form of rap. Feature uh, Rhythm Maddox. I believe he's a, a producer, I believe. Because when I looked him up, I don't think he rapped on this. Maybe he helped... And gave the sample records to Jamal Johnson, or they worked on it out, or this particular song together. Y'all let me know in the comments because I thought Rhythm Maddox was a producer. If he's not, let me know. If he raps too, okay. Uh, but I thought it was only Cam Ferris and Day that I heard rapping. So y'all let me know. Um, but I like this record. Perfect time. Number nine, True Colors featuring Sway Soul. Sway Soul, man. Wow. Sway Soul is hitting all corners with his, actually with her, with her deeper than rap poetry over this soft and mellow track. So, first of all, I, I love poetry. It's a it's a form of art. It's a form of rap. Uh, what do you think rappers are? They, they, they poets, you know, they might rap, they might, you know, speak a little faster and now it's a rap, you know what I mean? But poets, they slow it down so you can kind of like really hear them clearly. And uh, I like Sway Soul. I like what Jamal's going with this. He throws in, I think he worked with her prior. I think she was on another album or single with Jamal, I believe. Y'all let me know in the comments. But yeah, wow, Sway Soul is hitting all corners, man. You know, she got a, a, a great um, and distinctive mind that you know allows her to, to spit this poetry that we admire uh like subscribe notification bell man get the merch stop playing get the merch we got the hoodie it's hoodie see it's cold outside man get the hoodies um get the books i got four books out this is the uh i think this is the second one uh yeah severe's chronicles severe's classes volume two uh but if you can support support man i appreciate it man let's go to the last track number 10 the prophet Featuring Akil Ali, he's back. And Planet Asia, man. Shout out to Planet Asia, man. And Apollo Brown with that album. <laughs> yo, yo, Sardines. They did anchovies, now they did Sardines. Planet Asia, man, he's on fire. But The Prophet featuring Akil Ali and, and, and Planet Asia. Last track. Now, did Jamal save the best song to the end? 
and question me. I don't know, it's one of my favorites here, but I have other favorites. What are your favorite songs from this album? So, music is beautiful and takes me back to my uh, mother's record collection. Like, when Jamal Johnson uses these samples, I'm like, I'm just, I'm hearing stuff, man. I mean, he's not, he's not using, like, I'm not sure what he's using. I'm just picking up an album. Well, this is my, I got my mother's album collection, like, close to me. But he's not using, I don't know if he used Prince on this, but I'm just saying he, it reminds me of my mother's album collection. Shout out to Prince and R.I.P. to Prince, man. You know, I got to keep Prince near me, man. You know what I'm saying? Prince is, you know what I'm saying? Prince is soul. But anyway, man, this music is very soulful. Akil and Planet sound so good on this song. I re I just recommend you get Reborn. I, make a, I recommend, listen, I recommend you get Reborn with Jamal Johnson on this album, man. 2023, Jamal Johnson, um, Momentum Entertainment, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong again, I believe Ransom, the lyricist Ransom, like, probably, like, the number one rapper right now, Ransom, I believe he's um, dis distributing this, this this project, I believe. Y'all let me know. Uh, shout out to, I just want to shout out to, but when I do my research, I want to shout out to another podcast. I have a podcast called the THHC Podcast. Check it out. I actually had Jamal Johnson on it. So, but I want to shout out to Pure Rap Podcast. They recently had Jamal Johnson on there and they interviewed him about this album. So I got some things that uh, I didn't know. You know, they asked some great questions on there. So shout out to, like I said, Pure Rap Podcast, man. And um, Jamal Johnson, man. I appreciate the, the music, man. It's very soulful. It always gets me in a, a good mood. Uh, I love listening to the music. And uh, I, I see your movement. I see where you're going. And I like what you're doing with these rappers and various artists. And, um, you know, you got the poetry going. You got the, you know, the, the glorious MCs and rappers going. I see your movement. And I appreciate it, man. Uh, Jamal Johnson, salute. Coming back from Lynn Mass. Back in Boston, the beam, man. I'm telling you, man, this joint's fire. Oh, yeah, by the way, P.S. Any Massachusetts rappers? Now, if y'all watching this like six months from now, don't even respond. But any rappers from Massachusetts, matter of fact, don't matter if you, you can hear this, if you hear this, matter of fact, any Massachusetts rappers, connect with me. Producers, connect with me. I'm trying to put out some work. That's all I got to say. I'm not a rapper or a producer. I just want to present. I think I'm more of an A&R. more of an executive producer. And I have a great ear for music. So let me know. Let me know if I have a good ear for music. Check out my channel. I think Jamal Johnson is an excellent producer. What do you guys think? All right, man. Leave your comments below, man. Remember, spread more love than hate, man. That's it. We out. Peace, y'all.